Have you ever been curious where your drinking water comes from and how it is purified? You might be surprised to find out it all starts here, the Savannah River. A man-made channel directs the water about a half a mile to a river pump station. At this station, the water is raised to an elevation 26 feet above the river level. The pump station is capable of pumping 55 million gallons per day and supplies the water for both of Beaufort Jasper Water Authority's water treatment facilities. From the river pump station, the water travels another half mile flowing downhill to a reservoir which contains 180 million gallons of water. This reservoir also serves as a habitat for many kinds of wildlife. There are even a pair of American bald eagles that call this reservoir home. From the reservoir, the water flows to one of two water treatment facilities. Combined, they have a total water treatment capacity of 44 million gallons a day. This is Pruriesburg which can produce up to 15 million gallons a day. To start the treatment process, water is pumped up into a rapid mix tank where alum and lime are introduced into the water. The lime adjusts the pH and the alum begins the process of attracting foreign particles too small to be filtered. The particles clump together with the alum, forming larger particles that eventually sink to the bottom or can be filtered out. Inside the Pruriesburg lab, a technician can run a test that simulates the rapid mix tank to determine the correct amount of alum needed for the particles, called flock, to form. From the rapid mix tank, water then flows into the first of two flocculation basins where the water's motion is reduced, allowing the flock particles time to form larger particles. As time progresses, the particles get heavier and begin to sink to the bottom. As the particles are sinking, the water flows into sedimentation basins. In the sedimentation basins, the impurities settle to the bottom where they are collected by sweeps, and the clean water exits the top of the tank on its way to the next step of filtration. Here you can see the water which by this step in the process is already 95% clean, rising out of the top of the weirs in the sedimentation basin. The impurities that were collected by the sweeps are later pumped out of the system into a holding pond. The next step for the treated water is filtration. The water flows into a large tank in which the floor is a large sand and anthracite filter. Gravity pulls the water through the filter, capturing the remaining solid impurities. The final step at Pruriesburg is disinfection. Beaufort Jasper Water Authority produces its own chlorine solution on site for disinfection. It is introduced to the water after filtration and before it is pumped out into the distribution system. Back in the lab at Pruriesburg, there are technicians that take hourly samples of the water at all stages of the process to ensure the quality remains consistent. At the same time, a computer system monitors the water quality minute by minute, 24 hours per day, and alerts technicians of any unwanted changes in the water quality. Technicians make adjustments to the chemical dose or water production rate as needed. Maintenance personnel also take care of calibration of instruments and maintenance of equipment. And this entire process, from start to finish, continues day and night, 24 hours per day, seven days a week and 365 days a year, providing you clear, safe, clean,